guys, are you guys sitting for your IELTS test really soon? And you're feeling a bit apprehensive? Or you think you're gonna ace it, but you just need a few tips so that you could uh, improve certain areas of uh, your English? Well, you've come to the right place. Last month, I set for my IELTS and I got an 8.5 band. So I thought, why not I share the tips that I, I used for my revision with you people? So in my tutorials, um, that I'm going to upload in, in, the, in the coming weeks, I would be sharing all the things that I did for for my IELTS revision which helped me to get an 8.5 band. So stay tuned because the tips that I'm going to share are very unique and you're not going to find it anywhere else. And this is actually very helpful if you are the kind of people that, that really need um, to improve your English at, at the soonest time possible. So stay tuned. You see, I need your guiding hand to keep me in check. Mrs. Crawley is never happier than when she has a chance to use her guiding hand. All right, tip number one. Well, you have to use internet for this. Um, what you have to do is you have to spend at least a day or half a day to sit and actually find online resources. You'll be amazed to see how many websites and online blogs which are providing free tutorials, preset questions, and reading passages, and all the materials that you're gonna need for your IELTS revision. When you do, when you are downloading, right, you have to make sure you find materials that are gonna challenge you. You don't have to find things which are very easy just to make you feel confident. No, because if it doesn't challenge you, it's not gonna improve your competency. And one more thing you have to remember is this part of finding materials online. You have to do this before you begin your revision. So assuming you're going to give yourself two months of revision, so you have to do this one day before because like what I've mentioned, things can get really overwhelming because there's so many resources available and we don't want that to happen to you. Just please remember one thing, make sure that the things that you download, the resources, the reading materials, the set questions that I've mentioned before, make sure all these challenge you. Do not go for the easy one. Otherwise, it's not going to improve your English and you're just wasting time. So, careful guys. Why dwell on that now? Because I want the pleasure of saying I told you so. Let's go to tip number two. I always categorize IELTS students into two different groups. The first groups, I would name them as the hardworking ones. So these are the people that use English very frequently. They, they speak English a lot. They read a lot of English books. They watch American shows. They will watch British shows. And they're very confident um, with their way they speak English and use English on a day-to-day on -day basis. So these people, by and large, should aim for something more than 7.5, um, 8, 8.59. When I was uh, revising, I was actually aiming for a 9 and I got an 8.5. So it's not utterly impossible to actually ace your IELTS. Now, category 2 are those people that I call the hardly working ones. Um, please don't take it wrongly. You guys are the practical ones. You guys just want to get the minimum band so that you know you will get into the university of your choice or to get the job of, that you want. Well, whether you're category one or category two, right? I have to be brutally honest now. IELTS is one of the most difficult English tests around. That is the reason why I don't want you guys to undermine the difficulty of IELTS. Two weeks is not sufficient. So plan ahead of time and you'll definitely be able to ace it. Just have a lot of confidence. Now, tip number three. If you have noticed something, IELTS uh, tests take place very often, at least twice a month. So plan ahead of time. If you feel that you are a competent uh, user, then I think a month and a, and a month and a half is fine. But personally, um, I was working full time at that uh, when I was uh, sitting for my IELTS test. So I took two months and I felt this was very sufficient and it was not um, too long as well. Because when, when the revision period is too long, you tend to get uh, demotivated, sometimes you tend to lose focus and those who are working really really hard, you tend to experience um, study burnout and I don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> my brain's gone. <laughs> My body is limp with exhaustion. <laughs> I suppose all the greats knew this feeling. <laughs> so plan ahead of time. Just make sure that you have sufficient time for everything and um, don't lose the balance in your life. 
last but not the least is uh, try to find a mobile application that is going to give you latest news or, or interesting articles for you to read um, during your leisure time. When you read these news, right, don't just read it for the information. Try to observe and, uh, and find catchy phrases that can help you to express your ideas better in your writing module. So every time your hand itches to actually, you know, go into your social media account, check notifications or to watch that, that cat video that has been long pending. Don't do that. Stop yourself from doing that. Swipe the screen and go to this mobile application and read it. My personal favorite mobile application is The Guardian. The reason is because the news, um, the articles are presented in British English. I chose to sit for my IELTS test uh, using uh, British English because I've been using uh, British English uh, academically since I was small and naturally I'm, I'm from the Commonwealth country. But if you intend to use uh, American English, it's okay. Just make sure that you are consistent with, uh, with it. Another reason why I just love the Guardian mobile application is because they have not only latest news, and live updates, they also have a lot of articles by independent columnists. If you notice, uh, independent columnists and the way they present their ideas, the way they write their articles, it's very different. The reason is because um, they are usually not bound by any, uh, any news uh, companies, so they express their ideas very vividly. And this is what you need. You need to find creative ways of expressing um, your arguments, your opinions, your, you know, disagreements and, and things like that. Have we nothing in common? I, I can almost hear you guys saying, oh, that's boring. I don't want to read news. It's okay. Don't force yourself to read news or, or things that doesn't interest you just because um, some random Indian guy over the internet told you to do so. Don't do that. I'm sure all of you have different areas of, of interests. Example, if you like automobiles, try to find articles about cars and, and, um, and latest uh, models and things like that. And if you're a sport enthusiast, um, try to find articles about sports that, that not only helps you to you know, focus, but also you, know, you could find different ways of writing uh, by reading it. This is what I would advise uh, those who are sitting for your IELTS. Um, let English grow in you naturally. Don't force yourself to do things that you are not comfortable with or things that you find very boring. Um, try to make your life exciting. Try to make the whole process of learning English exciting. And um, I hope the tips that I'm going to share with you in the future um, would, would do just that for you. So thank you for watching. Um, I've already uploaded another video um, for the most dreaded module of all, the speaking module. Um, in that video, I'm going to show you practical tips on how to plan ahead of time and also how, you how you're supposed to present your answer to your examiner. So make sure you watch those videos as well. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like and don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you feel like sharing anything with me or even if your personal experiences that you feel that you should tell it to the whole world, just drop your ideas at the comment section down there. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a nice day.